you know everything Disney is banned from mainland China and for good reason. I mean, Disney World's new attraction, Downtown Disney, is proof that the Disney of the 90s has far too much food, fun, and music for the average communist regime to handle. Oh, yeah. Hey, Disney World. VH1 has gone to Disney World for the grand opening of their latest music party and entertainment extravaganza, Downtown Disney. This place is loaded down with great restaurants and shops, including the Virgin Megastore, House of Blues, and Bongo's Cuban Cafe, owned by Gloria and Emilio Estefan. You'll hear authentic Cuban music, you'll eat authentic Cuban food. We even have an authentic Desi Arnaz lookalike to sing Babalu for you, so come on down. Lots of celebrities and musical guests were on hand to help welcome Disney's latest creation, including Smash Mouth, Sister Hazel, The Wallflowers, and Meredith Brooks. Everything's Disney at Disney World. Everywhere you go, there's a Disney thing. So. It's a feast for the eyes, ears, and definitely the stomach. And who better to host the grand opening of Downtown Disney than BH1? I would love to have been there. That looks like so much fun. Well, Gloria Stefan fans should keep an ear out for her new album, which is coming March of next year. But right now we've got Sean Colvin. Sunny came home.